after graduating college was in New York. Uh, it was 1996 and I just remember the, I asked the, the yellow cab to take the, the, to drive over the Brooklyn Bridge and it was the first time I'd ever seen New York, I'd ever been and I was moving there so it was just, it's something that's kind of, it's, it's in my memories and I, it's, it's a really special secret New York moment. I dress fairly conservatively, I, I would say, and I think the closet I'd like to raid would be more for inspiration. Um, uh, so I would choose uh, Paloma Picasso's wardrobe. She's been a real inspiration for me at Loewe. Uh, something about her, her creativity, her look, the bold red lip. Uh, it feels very Spanish to me, and obviously the, the, the links with, uh, to culture with her, her father, you know, I, and some of the things she wore in the 70s and 80s were so special. I mean, I hope she still has them, and then I'd really like to get my hands on them. My notebook. I have a, a beautiful uh, uh, Loewe Napa uh, leather notebook. It feels really great, and I carry it with me everywhere, and I'm always taking notes and, and sketching, so I, I think that's the thing that I'd, I couldn't live without. Um, for me personally, I, I think it's the, I'm really glad that we've moved away from the overdone bag. Um, you know, the stuff which was full of junk and things hanging off and covered in metal and too big, too heavy. I, I've really enjoyed that sense of like beauty and craftsmanship with, you know, still with creativity that that's come back. And that's been a really important part of things since I've been at Loewe. So I've really... I've enjoyed that change and I think it, uh, it really suits the brand, so that's, that would be my choice. I remember being told no. I remember my favourite colour is red and it always has been. And I was told by my mother that red didn't suit my colouring, so I wasn't allowed to wear red and it destroyed me. <laughs>